Hello there, it's Woodhouse here again to take a look at a different game today. We're looking at Desktop Dungeons Rewind. Uh, this is the demo version of the game. The reason I'm talking about this today is that they they just announced, the uh, the people that make this, uh, a, a new demo that will be coming out on the 25th of January. It's a special daily challenge demo. It seems like a really cool idea. The idea is that you get one run per day uh, at this particular demo. It's a, it's a new generated demo every day with leaderboards. Um, so you get to try your hand at each uh, demo each day. Um, and you only get one try. If you, if you die, that's it for, for that day. Uh, it's the end of your run. It seems like a really cool idea. Uh, let me give you an idea of what the, what the game actually is before I start talking any more about uh, what that is. Um, as you can see here, it's a desktop. It's a desktop and we're in a dungeon. So it's living up to the name quite nicely. Uh, it's very, very simple from what I understand so far. I've only, I've only played a little bit of it. Um, so you're moving around with your mouse click. The enemies don't actually attack you unless you attack them first. Uh, and obviously as I move around, well I have to defeat this guy first. Uh, combat takes place when you click, so let's uh, click here. There we go, we took care of the, oh we didn't quite take care of the warlock, he actually... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So I very, very clearly only just defeated that guy. Um, and by moving forwards, you'll notice that my health re, uh, re restores itself. Uh, tap arrows ahead using the... Okay, alright. Yeah, so... When you defeat an enemy, when you fight an enemy, your health re restores itself. But if I backtrack, I don't get anything. So the game forces you to go forwards, which I actually think is a really cool mechanic. Um, I'm playing, obviously, as a human guard here. There was a little bit of a story the, the first time I, I, I loaded this up. Um... Uh, which obviously we're not going to get this time, unfortunately, but it was pretty cool. It, it was it was very bare bones, and it dropped me straight into it. There's a certain tongue-in-cheek style to the uh, to the story and to the the text that goes along with this. I'm assuming that there will be more of that as we move along. Um, okay, more damage. More damage is good. So we've got a level one warlock here. We should be able to defeat this guy, right? So he he has four attack, and we have six. So Nice, okay. You become decidedly more effective in combat. Note how it only it took you a single strike to fell that opponent as opposed to two previously. Indeed, efficient. Uh, da, 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 da. Is this more health? Yeah, constitution is usually more health. There we go. Okay, health power-ups operate in the same way that attack power-ups do, but increase your maximum health. This all feels very standard stuff so far. But yeah, there, there is uh, meant to be a full price version of this game. I say full price. I think it's something like twelve pounds. It's on the very much the uh, indie title uh, price range. But um, considering how like you know the that daily demo uh, seems like something I will definitely try. Just just to get a good taster for what the the, the full game actually has. It seems like a really cool idea uh, to get people into your game. Who you know, not everybody has the the ability to to buy a full price game, uh, and offering that sort of service it seems like a really cool idea. I can't wait for that to come out. That's the twenty fifth of January. I will probably be playing Fire Emblem Engage then, but you know, um, I will definitely take a look at it then. Uh, okay, yeah. I was always gonna defeat that dude. So there's a, a question mark over there. Can we get over to that? Uh, okay, so we get spells? Do we? Uh, maximum mana by one. Da, 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 da. Mana doesn't increase with character level. Okay. Uh, another goat. <laughs> no, this is rubbish. You need to find another way out of the dungeon. Okay. So, uh, in the earlier tutorial that I went through, I, I came across a goat, and you'll notice there that the goat is level 5, and will absolutely destroy me. Um, in fact, you can see the skull and crossbones 
of my character there. It shows me the uh, how the outcome of that particular fight will go. It will not go well. I do like <laughs> I do like the very British way it said, "No, this is rubbish." Oh, okay. A dungeon exit. Retiring early isn't the most glorious way to end the session, but sometimes it's your only choice, unless you count Impaled by Killer Goat as a viable option. I do not. A Killer Goat, well, a goat being a character in a story kind of reminds me of Catherine, if you ever played that. Man, I missed that game. I never actually got all the endings in that game. I need to go back to that at some point. Uh, tutorial complete. I was also involved in the dreadful caravan attack, but managed to avoid harm by hiding in my obscure documents closet. This dude looks shifty as all hell. Your experience has made one thing clear to the rest of the survivors. If there is to be any hope for us, we need to band together in a base of operations. We need a kingdom. Oh, is there some base building that's going to be in ha happening? To make this anything more of a lowly adventuring band's dream, you'll need to secure funds for development. This sounds very much like a base building sort of mechanic. The survival and experience have inspired hope in the members of this camp, and they've voted to put you in charge. It's time to gather the rabble and loot some dungeons. Delegated looting. I like it. Okay. This is very different than Darkest Dungeon, where everything is just like, everything is miserable. Everyone hates themselves. This is very much more tongue-in-cheek. I, I, I quite like this. As a newly elected kingdom administrator, I think you could do with a little help from your professional, with from a professional advice monger such as myself. It's a weird title. Why don't I help you along with this weird, this whole securing our immediate future thing? <laughs> How selfless! Select a dungeon. I mean, that just kind of looks like a group of trees and less like a dungeon. But okay, sure. Uh, yep, we're selecting this one. Kin and class. <laughs> Nobody else is around. Okay, so we're, we're thinking goblin or elf? Dwarf, perhaps? Oh, that's going to be a gnome and an orc. And that's a goblin. That's an elf and that's a goblin. You can, it's all in the chin. I have no idea what this little square boy is. Hmm. Guard, yep. Excellent, let's play. Ah. I like how we're, this is a fresh guard, yet still has an arrow through his helmet, and basically one eye, because he's in a bad state. Welcome, hero, to the legendary dungeon of hidden treasures. Whilst exploring, why not help yourself to a complimentary glyph of fiery doom? I guess that's a spell? Spell glyph. These ancient and potent artifacts allow you to channel your magical essence into a variety of tasks. In this case, clicking on things and making them go boom. Okay. Uh, click on the pickup button that's appeared on the side. Is that it? No? Ah, yes, there it is. Okay. Uh, you may also press spacebar. Cool, okay. Burn Day Raz. Burn Day Raz? Is that some sort of like pun name that I can't figure out right now because I'm too dumb? Quite possibly. It's time to put your newly discovered magic skills to the test. Click on the spell glyph in your inventory and then choose your target. Okay, but that used up a fair amount of my mana. Did some of it come back because I walked forwards? Okay, if you're running out of mana, explore the dungeon to regenerate. This works similarly to health regeneration. Excellent. Uh, passage not open to standard tour. Please do not enter, particularly if you're the type who will get red... Who would readily steal lots and lots of gold. Hmm. Yes. Interesting. Can I not deal damage to this guy? What? So it looks like... So looking at the, the thing, I would lose three health, and he would lo not lose any? I guess and I have to 
destroy it with them. As you level up, your spell damage will increase. It usually won't hit as hard as a regular attack, but the fact that enemies can't hit you back is a major plus. Seems fair to me. Yeah, let's explore. I did notice on that last area, though, there was like a hidden uh, like uh, monster behind the wall. Does that mean I'll have the ability to, like, destroy walls and things? That This seems ominous. Let me can collect all the, you know, non... There we go, serious gold. Uh-oh, it sounds like the treasure room was a trap. No kidding. You hear? Oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. You hear something big and heavy sliding into place from the dungeon above. That is worrying. Oh, that's what the monster was. The monster we could see before... There was... Yeah. Okay. Alright. And now we can't leave. Excellent. This creature is blocking your exit and seems to be immune to magic. Your spell glyph won't be of much use here, so why not convert it? Conversion is a neat way to recycle any unwanted inventory items. Click and hold your mouse button over the glyph, then drag it into the conversion icon. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Great stuff. Doing this to items fills up your conversion bar. Once full, your character gains a stat boost. One glyph is usually enough to fill the bar. In this case, converting should have given you enough extra act attack power to deal with the golem. Oh yeah, now I can see that its health is definitely going to go down. Okay. Okay. And now we get to leave. Hmm, okay. So we know about spells now, I guess. Uh, excellent direction of your our efforts, bold administrator. The bounty from the... There's something weird about the way this guy looks. I don't know. It kind of, it kind of gives me this sort of like... I don't know, 1970s sort of like creepy vibe guy. Just the, the, the bow tie and the way he's looking at me. Uh, yeah, I'll stop looking at him. Uh, that'll be fine. Uh, the bounty from that dungeon can be good, put to good use. If your fledgling kingdom is to survive beyond its first few weeks, it will need a reliable and well-trained force of heroes to keep the terrors of this land at bay. Okay. Uh, responsibility of... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Okay. Current task is ensuring our survival. No easy task. Uh, so I recommend investing our limited funds in training and arming some real defenders. Okay, we upgrade. It changes the way it looks. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Not in demo. Uh, Kingdom Administrator, remember this moment well, for you've taken your first tentative steps down a long and glorious path. Under your guidance, we'll will build a kingdom to challenge the gods themselves. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, admirable clicking and spending, noble administrator. You've just unlocked the fighter class. These hardy warriors are supreme to common guards in several ways. Uh, superior, but rather. They excel at hunting down opponents and gaining experience quickly. Okay. <laughs> Bring me loot! Uh, okay, a new area. Oh, that's an interesting face you have there. Uh, yeah, who was that? Okay. Uh, inventory management and boss trophies. This seems like a well-made, like, tutorial. I've, I've played a fair few, like, um, demos over the past couple of weeks. Uh, of varying quality. Uh, this seems very, very much on the high end of that. Uh, your hour of triumph. The goal of the dungeon is simple. Find the goat boss, slay it, and leave the dungeon with its horns as proof of your deed. Not only will you prove yourself ready to move on from these annoying tutorials, but you'll become the new kingdom's first celebrated hero. I am horny for heroism. I am not I am not above puns. I am definitely not above puns. Aha! You're treated to the welcome sight of a burn day rat. I'm sure that's meant to be some sort of play on words, but I can't figure it out. Because I'm a dum-dum. Uh, yep. 
Okay, we have a spell. Ooh, okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Right, so I'm assuming that's... Hmm. I didn't notice if that was an improvement over my last stuff, but I'm assuming... Uh, no, they start filling up your yeah, inventory space. Differently sized items will eat up space accordingly. No inventory Tetris. Yeah. Okay, I, I like this game so far. Okay, damage reduction. As expected of a shield. Uh, pendants of health. So that doubles my health. Okay. Ah, okay. So. You can convert items on the ground using the convert button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, right? Oh, instead of putting them in the inventory first. But beware, conversion is an irreversible process and you'll never get the item back. I see. So, obviously that would replace our pendant of health, which to me seems like it's better. Like, 10 health is better than 2 mana, so we convert that. And that lines that up. Okay. And then if we get 100 points of that, we'll get a stat boost. Okay. Potions are a special kind of stackable item that can take up far less space than most other items. Having lots of them is always nice. Cool, okay. <laughs> Why is it always goat? The dreaded goat awaits you for, uh, for you at the end of this corridor. No hints, no hand-holding. Using a combination of your items, spells, and character skills. See if you can defeat it and take its horn. Good goat? Alright. Can I can I shoot it? I, I would like to shoot you again, please. Oh, I don't have enough mana for that. Alright, well... Okay, I'm gonna lose at this. No, I'm gonna win, aren't I? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Crap. Um. Oh, I have health potions though, don't I? Okay, let's let's try this. No, that still kills me. How about that? Hey, hey, we did it, stupid goat. Well done, hero. The goat has dropped a trophy for you to claim. Grabbing a monster trophy ends the dungeon session, but you'll hang around as long as you want before taking it. Cool. I finally defeated a goat. I feel very manly. Victory! Your hero parades through the muddy streets of your rapidly growing settlement. Goat horn clasped in one mailed fist. Rose petals and jubilant shouts alike fill the air as town folk come out into celebration. Amidst the glee, a lone figure approaches you as you recline in your administrator's parade viewing chair. Hi there, can't help but notice the sheer amount of fun that you're all having with that chunk of monster skull. I happen to have a business proposal related to that. This may seem rather forward, but I was once a renowned taxidermist in the surrounding realms, and I know a lot of very rich buyers who would love a mounted beastie head of some kind hanging over their fireplace. Bragging rights, see? Long story short, I'd like to buy that trophy from you. I have the gold right here. This new kingdom needs some kind of regular income, right? Well, work with me and we can build an entire economy around hunting and slaying evil. I'm pretty sure that this will turn into a long and mutually profitable relationship. Interesting, okay. 150 gold for that. Okay. Guild expansion. Okay, so th there's a lot going on here. Okay. There's more than one way to slay the average dungeon monstrosity. And the kingdom of population... Kingdom of population. Yes, that's that, that's exactly what that says. And the kingdom's population is one of diverse talents and interests. Magic users, holy men, and even common cut po uh, purses are interested in fighting the good fight. Especially if there's money involved. Monster trophies are a valuable source of kingdom income. Let's put that money to use by building ourselves a second guild. Upgrading this structure will give you priests, 
They're reliable slayers of the undead with impressive, impressive health buffs. Upgrading this structure will give you wizards. They start off with a free fireball. Lower mana costs and other abilities make their glyph use much easier. Upgrading this structure will give you thieves. They excel at squeezing extra value out of dungeon resources and deal a little extra damage to unsuspecting opponents. Select the building to, dis to upgrade now. Man. That seems like the, the weakest option, honestly. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna build me a, a mage tower. Yes. Cool. Okay. Right. Our brave new kingdom is still in grave peril. The denizens of nearby dungeons are breathing down our necks. If a brave hero wanders in and slays the leaders in each area, the rest should be demoralized enough to scatter. Most autonomous, autonomous and independently thinking... Wow. <laughs> it's been a long day. Most autonomous and independently thinking administrator. I believe you've learned enough to start performing kingdom duties in whichever way you see most fit. I'll still be on hand to advise you when new matters come up, but from here on you may consider your decisions and opportunities are somewhat more open. Have fun. Finger cross... Finger crossbows. Okay. <laughs> okay, I like this game. Um, Alright, so, we have 31 gold, which probably isn't enough to do anything. What's that? Uh huh? Sir Digby. Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. It's a Michelin Web reference there for you. The neighborhood. Yep. Stony Field. So we could upgrade that, but it costs too much. All right, let's let's go to this Vince's Vault first, then, shall we? Vince the Invincible. Hmm. Another goat. We can be a wizard, Harry. Okay. Oh wow, so there, there is an, an exit. So maybe not the exit. Your player is a human wizard. Humans get a 10% attack bonus for every 100 f uh, conversion points. This class has the following abilities. Magic sense. Can see locations of all glyphs from level start. All glyphs are a small items. I'm assuming that's what this, this is going on here. With these little circles. Uh, magic affinity. Glyphs cost minus one mana and donate 10 conversion points to other conversions. Okay. Magic Attunement. Starts with the Burn de Raz. Uh, glyph. Faster Burn Stacking. Okay. I mean... Yeah, pack them, pick them up as soon as possible. Alright, let's, let's get started, shall we? Alright, he's a level 3. I don't really want to mess with him. He's a level 1. He, We can mess with him. And his friend here. Okay. What is that? Biceps. Good spelling, mate. Plus 30% damage, 3% erode. Boost your next melee attack with a 30% damage bonus. Okay. So that gets added there. Right. Okay. Uh, summons existing enemy. Adding slow debuff. Uh huh. Um. Okay. Not sure how it helps us right now, but... Get wrecked, son? Alright, we are making progress. Nice. 
Okay, so that's a level 2 zombie. Rather than a level 3 one over there. Hey, adventurer! Hey, over here! Hey, hey, hey! The dungeon boss. Come on, just try and hit me with a fireball. I dare you. Ha ha ha, you suck. Man, that sounds like a couple of people, I know. No, you suck. Okay, so he's level 5. There is no way I'm beating him. Not right now, anyway. Get that. Is that just going to be another one of those? Hmm. Not sure how happy I am about that. Okay. Uh, one of it. Someone's existing enemy adding slow debuff. Okay. It's the same deal with that. Alright, well. Which one is our XP, do you think? Probably this one, right? Alright, let's let's try Oh hang on. We got this guy first. Let's take on this guy. Okay. Nice, we leveled up. Okay. Casting Fireball means a free attack, using it as often as possible, even if you're a fighter. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, he's level 4. I'm not quite ready to mess with him. I am ready to mess with this guy, though. I think. I hope. I am! Uh, let's go there. And that. Hmm. I'm going to die. <laughs> that is a problem. Don't quite have enough to deal with him, so let's move forward just a little bit. Okay. Should be able to deal with this guy now, right? The answer is no. Sugar plums. Get wrecked. I'm now level three, fear me. Damn it, why am I losing that? Okay. Oh, and just one of these guys I can probably just kill with a normal attack. Man, there are lots of guys around here. Okay, he's level 3. I should be able to take him. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to die here, aren't I?
Well, this doesn't look too encouraging. Yeah, I I figured we'd bring the uh, the demo to the end the uh, next time for sure. Yeah, so that was desktop dungeons. Uh, as I said at the beginning, there is a a cool sounding uh, daily demo that's going meant to be coming out on the twenty fifth. Uh, that's going to be on Steam. I'm not sure about other platforms just yet. I'll put down the uh, the link below if there are other platforms available. Um, but yeah, that's going to be really cool. I will definitely take a look at that uh, on the 25th on Steam. Um, but for now, that's going to do it. So thanks for, for watching. Uh, there are, there's lots of uh, RPG stuff on my channel. So take a look at that. Uh, but for now, that's going to do it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.